So this is a quick version of the same video that I have that is called Interview Questions and Answers for Office 365 specifically. It's going to be only five minutes long. I do have a long version that shows you everything in detail, not just interview questions with answers, but I actually go inside the system and show you. So if you want to check that one out, and if you have time for that, I will put a link up here. And then if you just want to kind of get a quick overview, let's say you're literally waiting in front of the office to go in for the interview, you don't have time, you only got five minutes, then this video is for you. You can read it, you can also just listen to it. If you just wanna put in your headphones, close your eyes in your car, and just listen to it to get a quick refresher, to get that confidence, because I know you guys already know Office 365, especially if you watch my videos. I wish you best of luck, and I'm just gonna keep it at that. Take care, bye-bye. Number one, how do you change user's password? You can change user's password from admin center or Azure Active Directory. Number two, can you recover deleted files? Yes, admins can do it using a OneDrive link or through SharePoint. Number three, can users recover their own files? Yes, through OneDrive Recycled In. Number four, what happens to lost emails? You can check status of sent or received emails through Exchange Admin Center and performing a message trace. Number five, what is the difference between Office 365 Group and Distribution? Office 365 Group creates emails, shared workspaces, files, and calendars. On the other hand, distribution list is just an email list. Number six, where do you change user licenses? You can change licenses through Admin Center or Azure Active Directory. Number seven, can you customize user licenses? Yes, you can customize licenses for each user. Number eight, what is the difference between SharePoint and Teams? From admin point of view, SharePoint controls sites and file access, while Teams admin controls communication aspects of organization. For example, from access group chat to user device controls and settings. Number nine, can you have multiple or different admins in Office 365? Yes, you can have multiple admins and can also have dedicated administration roles. Number 10, how would you add a shared mailbox? Shared mailbox is created in Exchange Admin by creating individual mailboxes or by creating an Office 365 group. Users can add the mailbox in Outlook by clicking the Add Shared Folder setting. Number 11, what does error message you're missing out mean? That error message means that user does not have access or license to that specific part of Office 365. Number 12, what happens to reported email messages? To report an email message, you would do so through Exchange Admin, after which it's sent to security and compliance for a review. Number 13, can you have multiple group owners? Yes, you can have multiple group owners. This can be changed in Azure Active Directory or Exchange Admin Center. Number 14, what is a rank in group policy? If you have a new group policy and wish for it to overwrite other previous policies, you just need to rank the new policy with higher number. This is done in Teams Admin Center. Number 15, when managing devices, what settings can you control? You can control anything from date, time, format to network settings. Number 16, which computer platforms are supported by Office 365? Microsoft Windows OS, Android, Mac OS, and iOS. Number 17, both Admin Center and Azure Active Directory can access users. What is the difference? Admin Center allows for quick and basic user access control, while Azure Active Directory provides additional and more technical control over user profiles. Number 18, if RecycleBlane is not visible, is there another way to access it? Yes, you can access it through SharePoint, More Feature, User Profile, Manage User Profile settings, and then search for User, and then select Manage Personal Site, then Recycle Bin. Number 19, can you send email from a shared mailbox? Yes, however, user needs to be allowed to send as in Exchange Admin Center. Number 20, can users become admins? Yes, you can change any licenses or delegate team administration for their group.